happy What Should I Do Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, wonderful, magical Wednesday. I know I am. I am still insanely freaking busy. I have been trying to pack for three days and my OCD ass cannot get it the way that I want it because I'm obsessive. Um, I have packed a bunch of shorts and then taken them out. I've packed a bunch of different shorts and taken them out. I've packed a bunch of t-shirts and taken them out because the weather changed and it was going to be cooler. So I was like, well, maybe I need like three quarter inch. And then I took those out and put t-shirts back in because the weather went back up and then it got really hot. And it was supposed to be like 80. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to pack everything. And actually now I think I have nothing in my duffel bag. So I need to get on that before like tomorrow because after like 8.30 tomorrow night, I'm completely worthless. Like, there's no hope. There's going to be zero hope for me. Because tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is the big day. I'm so excited. I get to go see Avengers Age of Ultron at 9.45. I am freaking out. I'm so excited. And with the hype of the new movie, of course, there's like interviews and special appearances from the cast and different things and last night I was given a link to a video that has made my life so amazing um and it will make yours amazing too so take time out of your day to go to YouTube and just search Hawkeye sings about his powers on Fallon um it is the best four minutes of your life. You need this video in your life. I have watched this video at least 10 times. Um, I have a brand new love for Jeremy Renner that I did not know was there. He, he is my hero. Like, I can't even talk about it without, like, wanting to bust out laughing. It is hysterical. Um... And you need it in your life. So I am going to include a link to that video in the comments below because you have to have that video in your life. Um, it is fantastic. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lose it already. But we are not here to talk about Jeremy Renner or Avengers or the fact that I have yet to pack for my vacation. We are here for What Should I Do Wednesday, where you guys ask me all of your general paranormal related questions all up on the Facebook page. And I have a short little list today and I'm excited that it's short because again, like I said, I have nothing done and I need to get this done. And with the way my internet has been like this and that and this and that, I really, if I start uploading the video now, it might get to you by like dinner, just saying. Um, it's been ridiculous here lately. So we are going to get started so that I can hopefully get this video to you at a decent freaking hour. Okay? Okay. Here we go, yo. Our first question is from Ashley Brandon. Hi, Ashley. And she asks, is there a proper way to do an EVP session or is this something better left to a professional investigator? Okay. So anyone can do an EVP session. You don't need a degree. Um, you don't need training. You don't need like spiritual guidance. You need a digital recorder and you need people to be freaking quiet. Um, either be by yourself or be, if you're with a group of people, just in, like stress the fact that you've got to be quiet. Digital recorders are super, super, super sensitive. They can pick up everything. Um, you can be hungry and your stomach could growl and that could be mistaken for like a demonic growl. So you have got to be insanely freaking quiet if you sneeze if you cough if you make a noise if you scratch your ear make a note of it on the recorder be like you know I would be like Rachel scratch you know I scratched my ear at this that way you know that what you're hearing right there is not paranormal related um but the best way to be is by yourself because then you know that there is zero there is very little chance of contamination and there's very little chance that you can get something that isn't paranormal and be chalked and chalk it up to paranormal. Um, <clears throat> because those recorders are so ridiculously sensitive that they can pick up anything. So, no, it's not best left to, I mean, it's not best left to a professional. You need to, um, I mean, you need to be prepared for what could happen if you're poking them with a stick. I mean, you're thinking about, you know, you're speaking to spirits. You're letting them know that you want them to make contact with you. And that comes with its own set of, um, liabilities, I guess, or, or 
or potential issues. I mean, they could really attach themselves to you or something like that. But no, I mean, anybody can do an EVP session. It doesn't take a degree. Just eat. Don't breathe too loud. And shut up. Make sure you're quiet. Um, so that you can give the spirits the floor. But no, no, don't need a degree. Don't need anything. You just need a good digital recorder and silence. And let the spirits do the talking. Thank you for your question. Moving on. Our next question is from, I'm going to murder your name. Um, I think it's Joey is the first part of your name. It's just spelled different. And then your last name is Robichow. Nailed it. Failed it. Let me know. But anyway, hi. Um, and their question is, where can you purchase investigation equipment? Um, the best place to do that is probably Amazon. You're going to get the best deal there. Um, if you go through like a private website that specializes in paranormal equipment, of course, you're going to pay like an arm and a freaking leg for it. Um, if this is something that you've been doing, make sure I always say that when you're going to like, per, like purchase professional equipment, make sure that this is something that you've been doing for a while or that you really enjoy doing, like that you had a really good experience on an investigation because it's a lot of money. And if you are like very first time going out and you're like, I want an EMF detector or I want a spirit box or I want this and I want that for your very first investigation that you don't know how you're going to react to, then you have spent thousands of dollars and you're never going to use it again. So um, if, if this is something that you've done before and are really into and now are ready to take the next step into buying professional equipment, by all means, check out Amazon. They have some great deals there and they are going to be able to give you the latest and up, most up-to-date stuff that you can buy. And a lot of times you can get it at such a discounted rate than going through like a private website. Um, but if this is your first investigation and you're just wanting to be cool, um, dude, use your phone. Like, use your phone, use a digital recorder, use a camera. Don't take the time to really buy um, massive amounts of professional equipment. But, like I said, if this is something that you've been doing for a while and you're just ready to take the next step, then by all means, check out Amazon. They're going to have some great deals for you, and they're probably going to give you the latest and greatest and the best price as well. So, thank you for your question, yo. Our last question, because like I said, another short list, because I am insanely freaking busy, and my internet sucks, um, is from Miss Bobby and Mary. Hi, Bobby. Her question is, what are your thoughts on poltergeist? Um, for those of you who don't know, poltergeist is German for noisy ghost, and I think that's exactly what they are. Um, I think that they're a spirit that has a lot of energy or is able to accumulate a lot of energy on a regular basis to make themselves known. Um, I think that a poltergeist is a type of spirit that um, is typically a little bit darker in nature. I've never um, known of anyone having a really great experience with them. Um, they are known to move things, throw things, pinch you, bite you, kick you, touch you, pull on you. They, they are a very aggressive spirit. They want, um, they want their presence known in the most loud and possible way. Um, when you think of, you know, things flying across the room, people levitating, being, you know, physically harmed, then you're dealing with a poltergeist activity, um, of some sort. And I think that, um, it's just, it's just a type of manifestation that is very powerful and has the ability to do a lot more than, say, someone who can barely speak into a digital recorder. So, it's just one of those situations where um, whatever is in your home is very strong or has the ability to be very strong. And I think that they're a little bit more evil in nature. Not necessarily saying they're demonic by any means. Um, but I think they just are a little bit darker because they're so aggressive. They want so, they want so bad to be known and be seen and felt and... Um, experience that, that they will do anything to get you to pay attention. Um, when you think of the movie Poltergeist, which I'm not happy they're remaking, by the way, but that is another rant that I will not get into. You don't screw with classic movies, okay? And you cannot replace Carol Ann, I don't care how you think you are, with some little girl named Madison or Mackenzie or Maddie or whatever the heck they named her. I don't even know. 
But um, I'm sure that it would be like a good jumpy movie, but I'm really not happy that they're remaking it. I'll go see it just because, but you know, anyway, ADD, like I said, another topic, another day. Um, <clears throat> but if you think about that movie, you know, they, they took the twist of um, being very aggressive. You know, the little girl is pulled, she's thrown, she's pushed, she's abducted um, and disappears you know, it feeds off of your fear, your greatest fear. It, it feeds into your greatest fear. And so I think that it, that's why I always say it's a little bit even more evil in nature because it's designed to scare the living crap out of you. So overall, I think that it lives up to its name of being a noisy ghost. I think that it, it's something that wants its presence to be heard and known and felt and experienced and will do anything to do that given the power that it has. It's a very strong spirit um, that is able to manipulate and harm you um, emotionally, mentally, and physically, and it's just a pain in the butt. And it's not cool. Just saying. So thank you so much for your question. I really enjoyed it. And thank everyone. Thank you everyone for your questions. I enjoy doing this so much, and this is like a highlight of my week. And even when I'm sick or down or my personal life is a mess or... I am just stressed out to the nth degree and it's, I know it's a video day. These are, this is my time to center and relax. And it's been a while since I thanked you guys for just being behind me and supporting me. And I'm just so blessed. I love being a part of this family and, um, being an admin and being able to be such an active part of every one of your lives every day. And I'm just so grateful and blessed and I can't thank you guys enough. I love you guys all so much and I love my admin family to the moon and back. And this is just a highlight of my life that I did not know was going to come into my life, but I am so happy on so many different levels that it is a part of my life. Um, I have made some fantastic friends and I am so grateful. And it's just been a while since I've told you guys how amazingly wonderful you all are and how much I love you. So I wanted to do that considering I had a short little video today. But that's all I have for What Should I Do Wednesday. I will be back actually on Monday um, for GA Recap Monday. I will not be filming Flashback Friday because I will be on the road to Dallas. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and a fantastic weekend. And I will update you guys as much as I can um, from the road. And I'll sneak in a couple of little pictures for you guys just to let you know that I'm having a good time. And I will see you guys on Monday. Much love and happiness. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Enjoy the springtime. I will see you guys next week. 